I think I'm ready for a haircut, then I'll be ready to shoot music videos. So this is a daily vlog, and this is a different vlog because this is not a 5K run vlog. You have to remember this channel is called Daily Vlog. This is where I vlog. And so what I want to do here is document uh, my journey through this course. I have gotten into another course. And this is the, um, the Cell Music Mastery. Uh, everything is Cell Music Mastery Savvy. Okay, so here's here's the deal with that. So, you know, when I was looking up the guy, and, you know, no offense to him or anybody that's watching, but a lot of times, because I've been through so many courses, um, everything for me seems like the beginning of a sales funnel, and it just really takes away from me the integrity of, yeah, you're really trying to help versus are you trying to get me into another course or something because I kind of know a little bit about that because in studying some courses, these mentorships, and I've studied with a lot of people. And so it was like, dang, here we go again. The information is good, but man, all right. Because I've, I've, I've dealt with a lot of companies that really have a great sales pitch it's almost like the multi-level marketing companies. You have a really great sales pitch and then you get into it. And then after a while, after the money has been spent, you're really kind of left with nothing. And you've got the knowledge of not to mess with those type of companies, but you still are out of money mm -hmm. from the whole experience. So, you know, you fast forward and I actually thought about getting into the course a year ago. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, yeah, okay. Well. But I don't want I don't want the 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 course again. I'm 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 really tired of courses because it seems like every time I get into a course, I'm giving information mm -hmm. that could kind of help me, but then I, it just sort of gets lost in the mix. And not everybody's courses is the greatest presentation. Like there's this one course from a guy who's really known for selling beats online the presentation is just horrible you know i mean this guy's cussing at us uh, the, and i'm like wow if you're so paid why is your presentation so bad you mean to tell me that you're so paid that you can't buy a light to light your face up for your mastermind and so you know we got this mastermind subscribe and I, and, I, and the thing is like i want that because i know that's a good way to have passive transport passive income for you but my problem is that i don't want to i don't want to be the guy that makes all these claims of how i'm going to improve your life and then bonk you on the head for it and then you don't succeed and then blame you because you didn't get the concepts and so fast forward i I took another risk, and what 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 does every human do? Um, go ahead and do it again. You've seen this guy posting Instagram pictures of him on, you know, with nice cars and this lifestyle, and you know, dang, here we go, another another producer with a nice lifestyle, selling something, uh, in in the same lane of I'm helping people. You know, understand it's a business too. And so I definitely have had my doubts about it. I've been through a lot. I spent a lot of money over the years. Um, and it's just really frustrating because you got you got that on one hand. You got people offering these courses and opportunity to sell beats online, sell your music online, you know, build that financial wealth, uh, build a um, have financial freedom separate from and then and then the thing is, and like and then on the other hand, I know people who who live and make music full time. And they're living, and yet they simply will not help me. Or I don't, or maybe I didn't ask the right questions, but simply does not help me. And it's like, yo, I, I need I need help with this. I need to know how to do this. What is how how did you do that? And can you help me do that? And other times I'm kind of just met with silence, really. I'm sort of just met with silence. And so the funny thing was, this was 
I guess what got me into this, because if I didn't have the money, I wouldn't have did it. Um, I was saving up everything for my donations for my main YouTube channel. I was saving up um, everything to get this uh, sound module that I wanted to get for a long time. And you know, it's, it's not cheap anywhere. And it's funny, the last time I saw it on auction, it went up like way a whole bunch. And I'm like, y'all, y'all messed up. I was trying to get it for that regular price and y'all just, okay. So I was like, all right. I, and I didn't really like the YouTube videos because every YouTube video, some, it was just every YouTube video to me might have had some good information. There was some good information, but for me, it felt like the beginning of another sales funnel. I mean, I'll just be transparent about it. It just felt like, all right, here we go. Another sales funnel. Where y'all about to bonk us on the head this time? Where's the paywall at? Here we go. And so I definitely have my doubts. And then on top of that, I have doubts about my ability to take the information and make it work because of all these courses I did with, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe there's not something clicking in my head for me to enable to start making profit. Because that's the point. I mean, let's just be transparent. Like, that's that's the point. Like, you, yeah, you want to make music and I got that. But then you also want to turn it into an income. And I know so many people who are into music and they love making music, but then they aren't able to turn a profit from it. And then there's this whole culture here, especially in this city of, of information. Like, this is what you need to do to make it. Or this is what you need to do to build your brain. You get all this crap. And it's like, you got to come from all directions. You got YouTube videos coming at you. You got people in real life that kind of tell you this, keep doing what you're doing. You're going to be all right. And then I got my audience telling me, how come you ain't signed? How come you? So I got all this coming at me. YouTube videos coming at me with information, bits and pieces. I got a course here I checked out. All right, that looks cool. I might try that. Try that. Didn't work out. So I got to try that again. Try it. And, it's just, and it's so I'm really concerned about my ability to get it and to make it work. So. So it's really hard to even come to this conclusion, to even move forward with it. Um, but I am a risk taker and it, it really boiled down to this as far as why I got into it. All right. I was like, okay, a couple things going to happen. Either the same thing is going to happen again with this course and with this training. You're going to get a bunch of information. I may or may not, it may or may not work. I may not focus. I may not get something out of it and I'll just take another L, fail and move on. But or maybe I might learn something. Maybe something will click this time. Maybe I might get the value I need. And and maybe I'll finally start figuring out ways to do this. Maybe. I don't know. The, and the truth is, I don't know. I don't know because I've been through so many people making the same promises and claims of all this stuff, buying all these courses. And I'm like. So and so it's like, yo, either this is going to work or not. And if it doesn't work, guess what? I'm just going to keep going, find something else to do to try. And if I just get an L, I just get an L. Or or I do this and I follow instructions. I do these worksheets and and I make my money back because that's what that's at the end of the day. That's what it is like. Yo, are, am I about to eat? Or I'm about to take an L again. And I know it's a business. I get that. All right. That's your business. That's your hustle. But a lot of times what I see is, especially with music producers, is the hustle is no longer the music. The hustle is teaching other people how to do it. And same thing with Quickstar. It's it's no longer. It, it, I remember when I got into Quickstar. First, you had to pay to be in it, right? And then you, I think you had to pay to stay in it after a year to renew. And then you had to buy products. And the guy made a great point about it. He said, if, 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 if you have to pay for something, you're a customer. You're, not a, you're a customer. But the Quickstar Sphere names it as... You're, a, you're an independent business owner. You're a, you're a business owner. Yeah, you got your own business. Join our company, start your own business, be your own boss, finance. So I've been through that whole stick. So, so it is with doubts that I start this journey here. 
the good thing is, I, I guess I say the good thing is that everything isn't there all in your face, William, which is good. So that really helps me to focus. And I'm actually about to follow through and do these worksheets, um, my homework, uh, review this because I because I'll glow, I'll tune out, I'll tune out because it's just when it when it comes off so. And I think it's hard for me to really even take genuine people being genuine, but it's like, all right, um, it's so. Um, if it's so polished, it's like, all right, here we go. It sells like, God, please stop selling. Like, I just need the information so I can improve, do something with this music. Cause I, I believe I have something special and all that. So I'm going to give it a chance. I do have my doubts. I'm hoping for a better result at the end of this. It's going to take some time. It's probably going to take some work. And hopefully... A different result will come out of this than I ever had in the past. It's a risk. And the worst thing that could come out of it is that I get an L. I've been through I, I've been through so much this year that actually an L from this is probably pretty minor to me at this point. But I know I'm supposed to be eating off of this music. But the problem is no one around me can show me how to do it. Everybody has their suggestions, their ideas. And uh, 10 times out of 10, everybody says, keep doing what you're doing. And the other people saying, well, you're more talented than me, but you're the motherfucker that's in this nice ass house over here. If, if, I, if, if you're not as good as me, what did you have that put you in that position? All right. And I and and I try not to get too deep into it because it just it pisses me off. Like what what is what what is it? I don't know. So I say, like, all right, go ahead, take this risk, do what the instructions say to do. Doubt, and it also talk about believing. Could talk about believing. So I it, obviously there's some part of me that believes this can happen. I'm not doing this just to see it not work. I'm actually actually I'm doing this to see if it does help. But the problem is I'm re I'm like, is is it and I hope that this changes, but it's like I'm ready. I'm so ready for it to not work because things have not worked. But it's the I'm doing this anyway. So I'm taking this risk. I took the plunge. We're gonna see what happens. I just went documented journey. Hoping for the best, but I'm watching for the worst. And maybe that's the mindset I got to work on, too. But I do have facts and experiences to go off of. So, yeah, but I'm ready to do something about this here. I think I'm ready to start shooting videos again. So, yeah, that's the first step of this journey. Just documenting it. I'm probably going to document it again uh, soon. So I will see you on the next video.